the courtroom with me, Kim Goldman, the sister of Ron Goldman, offering her advice to Travis Alexander's family as this goes on and on, unrelenting in the courtroom. Kim, thank you for being with us. What are your sure. thoughts and your analysis? Oh, wow. Um, I would, uh, my thoughts are this is bringing me right back to our case um, and the ad nauseum testimony and witnesses on the stand and how I just remember Barry Sheck going after Dennis Fung relentlessly. Um, but, you know, this is, this is what the prosecution needs to do. This is uh, the witness on the stand right now is a big witness for the defense. And so this is what his job is to poke holes in everything that she's saying and to discredit her. And unfortunately, like you said in the beginning of the show, we have to sit and wait, and um, it's exhausting. And um, you just have to hang in there and hope that what he's doing is effective, which I think he is. How hard, Kim, was it to sit in court and look at the back of O.J. Simpson's head, you know, sitting ahead of you and listening and never being able to say anything? Yeah, I, I learned how to sit on my hands a lot and bite the insides of my cheeks. Um, it's very frustrating, and I know that's what Travis's family is dealing with right now, um, wanting to scream and wanting to defend him because he's not here to defend himself, um, wanting to cheer on the prosecutor, wanting to probably submit questions to the prosecutor. I know I used to do that with Marsha and Chris. I'd write little notes and I'd send them up. Not that they needed my assistance, but sometimes, you know, when you're in the, when you're in the audience, you have a different perspective um, than when you're a prosecutor. And so I think sometimes that assistance from the families are helpful and it's empowering for them. But um, they're, I'm sure they're exhausted at this point and uh, I, I totally empathize with where they're at. I'm just thinking back to the trial after my fiance was murdered. It was just such a horrible, horrible haze. It was like a big blur, and I ended up being a witness during the trial. Um, if you have any advice to Travis's family, who have basically been instructed they can't show any emotion in the courtroom whatsoever, yeah. what is your advice, Kim? You know, to, to use their resources, their support circle, and to know who they can rely on and who they can trust. Um, it's very scary when you have a whole country so obsessed and so um, attached to every element of this case. Um, and we were instructed the same thing. We weren't allowed to show any emotion. And, you know, that's really a disservice um, to, to what the victims and their families experience. So I would just hope that they find a place to release and an outlet. There's plenty of support cir uh, circles out, outside and um, services that are available to them. I know that they have people that are in their corner and that love and care for them and are wishing them well. Kim, I know it may be hard for you to believe that there are millions of people praying for you and your family and your brother. And many of us still, still to this day, every time I hear the name O.J. Simpson, I say a prayer for Nicole Brown and Ron Goldman and their families because people believe that when the trial is over, there's